All right, guys. So once again, we got to talk about the intolerant left and their attempt to silence free speech, right? The protest speech that they don't like, right? And this time, uh, the protesters, the mob is going after Matt Walsh, who showed up to Georgia Tech uh, a couple days ago to uh, discuss the transgenders competing in sports issue, more specifically biological men competing against biological women in sports issue ahead of the NCAA championship uh, in swimming that features Leah Thomas, who's a transgender woman competing against biological uh, women. Now, Matt went out to Georgia Tech to give a talk and to talk about this issue and to give his opinions on it, right? And again, uh, the mob didn't necessarily really like that as they basically tried to ruin the event by doing what they always do, which is throw a fit and try to shout over a people and silence speech, right? So we're gonna talk about that as uh, I don't think that these people actually really understand what they're protesting over. Uh, and it is very, very clear uh, that a lot of these people are simply just NPCs, okay? But before we get into that, I just wanna let you guys know if you like my channel, you like my commentary, you wanna support my channel, you can do so using the links in the description below. You can support the Patreon, you can support the PayPal, you can support the merch. There are multiple ways to support the channel if you would like to do so, including getting yourself one of my signature racist mugs, which is a daily reminder of the 2022 definition of racist according to the left, which is anybody that disagrees with the Democrat party. So with that being said, uh, let's actually play some highlights here of uh, some of the protests at Matt Walsh's uh, speech and also some parts of speech as well, too, so you guys can get the gist of what happened here. Take a look. Matt can't swim! 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 Your ideology is killing children. Your ideology is killing children. Your ideology is killing children. Fuck fascists, fuck fascism. Your transphobia kills. Transphobia kills. Your ideology is killing children. Tell us why you're out here today. I'm standing for trans rights. Trans rights are human rights. Do you think there is a biological difference between men and women? Biological? I would stand for lesbian, gay, um, LGB, bisexual, and trans community. Who's campus? Our campus. Who's campus? Our campus. Why are you guys out here yelling instead of maybe going inside? I mean, there's a Q&A. You guys have the opportunity to go and ask Mask well, it's a question. Don't you think that would be more uh, productive? When it comes to Republicans, Republicans are more argumentative. More my way or the highway. Matt can't swim. Matt can't swim. Don't you think this might be my way or the highway here? No. We're supposed to abandon all at once the fundamental truths that all of us know and have always known, and we're supposed to do it for no other reason than it will hurt people's feelings if we don't. It'll hurt Leah Thomas's feelings. Of course, his feelings are the only feelings that matter, right, when it comes to the swimming issue. His feelings and the feelings of other trans people, I mean, th those feelings, for some reason, are supposed to outweigh the feelings of women who don't want their sports destroyed and their privacy invaded and their very identities appropriated and stolen and cheapened and fetishized and turned into a Halloween costume. The feelings of a million women are dust when stacked up against the feelings of one gender confused man. All of reality is dust. Biology, science, truth, all of it is supposed to be thrown out the, the window because of one trans person's feelings. Well, I say to that, no. But the most important thing to establish for our purposes today is that he is a man. He is a he. And that will never change. That won't change no matter what kind of uh, poster you hold doesn't change. That fact. At least the poster's laminated, because I saw some posters out there. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. I saw some, some protesters out there were holding signs of, on loose leaf paper. It's like, come on. This guy, he took the time to laminate that thing with whatever that is, and I really appreciate it. Like, he had to go down to office space, or, you know, he had to go down to, to Staples with that thing. All right. Anyway. 
Leah Thomas is a man. Back to the subject in hand here. Boy, you got to love Matt Walsh, right? Agree or disagree with the guy. Uh, you got to admit, he's very straightforward with his opinions, okay? He's very cut and dry and to the point about how he feels about stuff, which is something I respect. Uh, but I will say, I, I think because he has a daily wire behind him, I think he's allowed to kind of get away with saying more stuff than other people would otherwise be able to say. And that's why he kind of, you know, doesn't really care about not having to beat around the bush. He just says exactly uh, what he means, right? Which, again, I, I, I respect. Okay, I respect. This is why the Daily Wire should sponsor uh, me so I can uh, be more direct <laughs> as well, too, just like uh, Matt Walsh, right? But, uh, yeah, I find it fascinating here. How you have these people who always are calling people on the right fascists, but yet every time you look, they're protesting people's rights to free speech, right? To freely speak on campus and to speak their opinions. But yet they're calling other people fascists when they do the very thing that fascists do, which is silence other people's speech, right? They're the ones that are fascists, okay? And imagine being on the side of history where you're against women's rights because at this point this is what this has become right the whole transgender uh women competing against a biological women in sport issue has become a women's rights issue and these people on the left who are so gun-ho about having biological men compete against biological women in sports they're against women's rights right that, that's just what it is that's just what it is and i'm trying to tell you guys the left the modern day left they call themselves progressives, but they're actually really regressive, okay? On the race issue, they want to take us back to segregation. They want to segregate society based off race and skin color. That's what they want. They've been very clear about that. They want to separate students on the playground by their color. They want to separate uh, parents at, at school board meetings based off their color. They want to do all that stuff, right? We've covered all those type of stories that show exactly what the left wants, right? And lo and behold, uh, they want us to go backwards on women's rights as well, okay? As women, to a certain extent, you can argue are being erased in our society because of this issue that we're having, right? In which they don't have the right to compete among themselves, okay? You see biological men competing against women, not only in sports, but also things that are traditionally meant for women, like beauty pageants. They're allowed to compete in beauty pageants, okay? We've seen that. Uh, Jeopardy, right? They're breaking women's records in Jeopardy. Now, again, that's not necessarily a space traditionally reserved for women, but I'm just saying the highest earning woman on Jeopardy uh, is a transgender woman, right? Is a biological man. Again, I, I find it funny how the people that call themselves progressives are literally regressing us on the issue of women's rights. And conservatives are framed as racist bigots when conservatives are actually on the side of treating everybody equally regardless of their skin color or their race and women's rights okay conservatives are pro equal treatment based off race and women's rights right but we're the bigots okay but hey i kind of understand it to a certain extent because some of these people actually do believe that transgender women are actually biological women right and this uh interview right here from south says at this campus event really blew my mind uh when these two students were asked about uh, why they're protesting Matt Walsh and <laughs> their opinion on this subject in general. Take a look. I have a sign over here that says, fuck Matt Walsh, fuck TPUSA. Talk to us about the sign. Why is this important to you today? Because uh, I think Matt Walsh is an idiot and dangerous to people. And yeah, that's really all I have to say on that. Number one thing Matt Walsh has said that's pissed you off, that made you hold up that sign today. Oh God. I'd have to go back and look through his Twitter. I know I see shit all the time. Just give me one. I mean, we're holding the fuck Matt Walsh shine. Just give me one, one thing. I mean, I know that Matt Walsh has consistently said that, uh, you know, trans women are not real women. Trans men are not real men. When it's proven by science that trans women are in fact women, trans men are in fact men. It doesn't have to do with your born sex, it is that you feel like you are a woman and that's okay. Like you don't have to conform to what the what society says. So, so if you decided that you wanted to identify as a woman today, is that something that we would label him as he's a woman at that point? She's a woman. She's a woman at that point. Got it. Got to use the correct pronouns. All right. So we've got women. Trans women aren't women. What about you? Trans What's, women are women. Well, that Matt Walsh has said that has made <laughs> okay. us hold this sign today. Right. What about you? What does Matt Walsh say? Um, let's see. There's a lot of stuff about um, January 6th. Mm -hmm. Like, 
Honestly, I get so confused with all these right-wing assholes. It's hard to keep track of who says what, but I know I've seen some stuff he said, and I know I wasn't a fan, so fuck him. <laughs> Bruh, that might be the funniest interview I've seen in my life, okay? Bruh, that is an NPC, okay? That guy is an NPC, right? The NPC meme is literally that guy. Right? He's like, I'm out here saying F Matt Walsh and F TP USA because that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know why I'm doing it. I can't name you anything that Matt Walsh has said that has prompted me to come out here. But I'm out here because I just believe that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Right? Because that's the cool thing to do. This is the uh, hip thing to do. Right? This is what we're getting behind. Bruh. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Now, at least the other girl can articulate a reason for why she don't like Matt Walsh, okay, but what she goes on to say in her articulation of why she doesn't like Matt Walsh is literally <laughs> the most backwards thing I've ever heard in my life, this, this woman said that transgender women uh, are women, and that has been scientifically proven that they are in fact biological women, and I'm just like, this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about, this is why you can't have this conversation with these people, because they actually really do believe this stuff, right? You you cannot reason with somebody who simply is just not grounded in reality, right? Like you have XY chromosome, which is for men, and you have XX chromosome for women. There, there's no amount of surgery or thinking or imagination that can change that, right? You are who you are. Now you can inject hormones in people. You can do all this other stuff. But if you take all that stuff out, all that artificial stuff out, your body's going to revert back to what your chromosomes are. You're born sex at birth. It is what it is, right? And that's the biology part of it, okay? That's what people are talking about. But this, this lady here really believes that it is scientifically proven that biological men can, in fact, be biological women as long as they think that they are. So if that is true, then... I can be a white man, right? If I believe that I'm a white man. Some people argue that because I'm a black conservative, I, I already want to be white. <laughs> I might as well. I might as well just go ahead and start identifying as a white man. Okay, give me some white privilege, right? Uh, or if I want to, I can identify as an animal. Okay, I can identify as a dog, a cat, whatever, right? I can identify as a doorknob. I can identify whatever I want to identify as because according to her, as long as you think it, then it is biologically true right it is an absolute truth as long as you think it okay and, and i'm telling you 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 can't reason with people like this right if, if that's what they actually think th there's no point in having a conversation okay but because there are people that think like this uh i i, I think that it's important for matt walsh <laughs> to speak up and to have these speeches because it reveals to most of society how cuckoo for cocoa puffs some of these people are on this issue right and for people to understand ah, you know there's a certain part of our society that where the elevator just doesn't go all the way up to the top floor right and i think that definitely applies to this girl okay for sure but this is what they're, they're teaching people in college right for real seriously this is what they're teaching people in college when i went to college that is the first time i actually heard the whole uh gender is a social construct argument is going to college right and that's that's essentially what she's arguing here without in a not so elegant way that gender is a social construct that's what she's trying to say okay and because gender roles are a social construct then if you want to be a woman right you you can be a woman because what it means to be a woman is uh socially constructed that there, there is not based in biology but i would argue that uh how we behave socially is is actually a function of biology right the reason why women are caretakers is because they, they have a hormone profile that makes them better caretakers and they have you know biological body parts that makes them better caretakers particular babies and children that's just what it is right but you know hey you can't reason with these people because they think that just because they went to college that they know it all and that what they know is absolute truth when it is just in fact not even based in any type of reality right so yeah that was <laughs> hilarious but also sad at the same time uh let me know what you guys think Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.